Good morning, everyone. Um, happy Eid Mubarak to all of those who are celebrating. We're going to have uh, likely a smaller meeting today as uh, there's a number of people who are off celebrating. But good morning to everyone. Um, so today is, as usual, on Friday or the second time, we'll have our retrospective session. So just looking back and reflecting on the week. Um, and so just a couple of announcements to start as usual. And then asking people to, asking um, as we're small, here, I'm just going to post some questions in the chat window. I'm looking for people to comment on. Uh, so talking about what went right, what could have gone better, and what could have uh, been made better for the next weekly challenge. And so that's one thing that I wanted to sorry, can't type in. Um, that's one thing I just wanted to underline. We are open to feedback, as we told you at the start, and um, I see that Augustine is here. So borrowing one of the lines that uh, he uses, that he's in permanent beta, it's actually an expression that I like. I think it's it's fair to say that we're also in permanent beta. And if there are things that we could do better, we've already received feedback, large and small, but we're really open to uh, learning from each of you and taking your ideas. And we are 100% sure that we don't have all the ideas and we don't have all the solutions. So we're looking to work with each and every one of you to take this learning experience and to make it as good as possible. So um, the these retrospectives or the reflection sessions are an important part of that for us. Um, so in terms of updates, very practical stuff. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. is the submission for uh, the weekly challenge, weekly challenge number two. Um, submissions are through Google Classroom. There are two things to submit. There is the link to your GitHub profile, and there is the um, your slides. Today we have a long session um, from 12 till 4 Rwanda time. Um, open stand-up session in week two. You'll have a number of us online, so if you have any questions, this is your opportunity to ask. It seems like you guys are keeping Sebastian really busy, and I'm happy to see it. It reminds me a little bit of The Matrix. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but in The Matrix, the main character, Neo, he starts fighting one, two, and then he's kind of dealing with 26 different agents at the same time. And sometimes seeing seeing it on Slack looks a little bit like Sebastian's getting banged from all sides, but he's very calmly just um, carrying back uh, 26 different agents in parallel. So keep it up and keep it up, Sebastian. It's great, great to see. Yesterday's talk with Dorothy, I thought it was, I enjoyed the talk. Dorothy's somebody who I used to work for, um, and she's been a mentor and a supporter and a friend in the very best way over the years. And so I was happy to see about 40% um, of the class there. It's um, in terms of these weekly talks, or we'll, we're looking to do it more than weekly, probably um, once, twice, maybe even some weeks, three times. So we want to find the right balance between, we think that it's important to have as many people as possible there because the input, what we're trying to provide here is in a word job readiness and getting other perspectives, other ideas is important. And I think some of the messages that Dorothy passed on are important to share. Now, we it's obviously not mandatory to attend, but it's its sort of a balance between if we ask people to come and speak and there's very, there are very few people there, it does become um, slightly difficult for us to justify a busy person's time to come and speak to just, just a couple of students. So. Just a request, please to um, make your very best effort to come and attend, even if you're just there for a little bit. But um, take it take it from us that these talks put together over the, I think if you if you attend every talk at the end of the session, we'll probably have uh, 15 to 20 different talks. They will pro provide value to you in a, in a different sort of way. So please do try and attend. We think that will be useful. So. We have our tutoring session today. Submissions are tomorrow. If there's anybody who is uh, celebrating Eid today, so happy Eid, Eid Mubarak, um, please do let us know. One person has let us know that they plan to submit late, I believe. Um, please send me a either an email or a Slack just to let us know. And we, for those people who are celebrating Eid, we'll push the submission deadline back by 24 hours so that people can be fully off today and celebrate. Um, those are all the announcements I have from my side. Anyone else from the team? Sebastian Prosper? Um, no, nothing for me. No. <laughs> I, I hope you don't yeah, mind the matrix analogy. I, I don't know if you've seen that scene, Sebastian. 
where Neo is like fighting off 26 agents at the same time. No, I haven't. I'll try and find a clip and send it to you. All right, sure. We'll be happy. <laughs> All right, Prosper? Nothing for me uh, today. Just to wish my brothers and sisters celebrating Eid today. Happy Eid Mubarak. All right. Thanks. So we're, we're looking for volunteers just to talk about. So Friday's reflection session, learning how the weekly challenge went. Um, it's not done yet, but I think most people have an idea of what needs to get done. So talking about what went right, what could have gone better, and what we can do, um, what changes we can action in the next weekly challenge. So um, looking for volunteers, please. You can just put your name in the chat window, Lawal. Okay. So, Lawal, please go ahead. Yeah, so, hello. Hello, everyone. I hope you can uh, hear me. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, <clears throat> this week was a whole lot more self-explanatory in terms of the instructions. I think that's an improvement, thanks to the team. And it's also way bulkier, which required us to have, like, a whole skill set to handle data from the beginning to the end. Like, you have to do the... You have to do the some kind of data exploration to understand your data. Then you impute some, some you treat the outliers. Aside from treating the outliers as well, you get to you get to fix in some null values. So and after that, then we then carry out okay the users analysis, the users analysis, knowing their experience. So I, I feel like this one is a whole like a total workflow of a project and. Having this kind of self, set of skills, I think, is quite important as a data analyst. And I feel as a data scientist, to analyst. So, well, it's been an amazing week for me. I had to learn a lot of new stuff, like TCA and and we all the K clusters. I mean, I had to know the meaning of what I want to do even before knowing how to do it on Python, because it's when I know the meaning of what I want to do and the implication. That's when I can interpret my results. So. Okay, so in terms of feedback for next time, is the start and getting feedback. So feedback, yes. So if I understand you correctly, Lawal, you you appreciated the the kind of full workflow from start to finish, clear instructions, um, and the learning happened as part of the the challenge that you were asked to do. Yes. Is that fair to say? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Next right. next week's going to be different. Next week next, Thank you. next week's going to be much more open ended again. Um, next week's going to be less work, but more thinking, less coding, more thinking. I should say. Yeah. Uh, who else would like to speak? That's interesting. Who, who else yeah. would like to speak? Thank you. Reflections on the week, please. All right, so I'm just going to pick people that I very uh, in no specific order here, but Mwakali, can we hear from you? How has the week been? Good morning. Morning. So my week has been okay, although it started off slow because I was busy with other, other things, but then I got back on track and I'm almost done. So yeah. And in terms of the challenge design, things that went well, things that we could do better? Uh, the challenge design, it looks, it's, it's actually quite clearer than we've ever had like before. It's something you can follow easily. And yeah, it was really nice. Although uh, the code descriptions were a bit confusing. The which descriptions? The code descriptions. The third description is task three. Field, 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 field. Ah, the field descriptions. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fair, fair point. Point well taken. Okay. Um, Glory. Glory Odiemi. Are you there, Glory? Samuel, Samuel Nagash. Mm, hello, everyone. 
morning. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I'm Samuel from Ethiopia and I joined uh, this week. And happy to be here. And uh, uh, this week uh, was uh, really tough for me uh, as I joined uh, uh, on Tuesday and uh, I didn't hear on the hear about the uh, things given the orientation given the orientations given on the hello yeah we can hear you please go ahead uh, then I, I took on the I took on the this week's challenge and uh, start working on that uh, before I started, I I was looking back to the week one, and uh, when I ask, uh, you can start from here, and I started here, and uh, it was pretty tough. Uh, it's actually um, the the challenge is uh, uh, interesting as well as uh, tiresome. It's uh, more like. Mm, I, I you can speak openly you don't need to <laughs> you don't need to filter uh, okay uh, uh, actually I would like to thank you guys for having me on board and uh, I will be uh, fighting uh, for fighting and uh, will be there here with you guys Thank you. Okay. I see Abby just joined. Do you have a bell? Do you want to any anything to add? We're just doing the reflection session. I th just give me five minutes because I'm still sweating from the bike. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah no problem. Uh, Ayabila, <clears throat> we'd love to hear from you. You you wrote wrote to us yesterday. Maybe it'd be interesting to hear your uh, reflections on the week and your thoughts on what we could do better. Okay, good morning from Ghana. Good morning, I to say. Yes, uh, yeah, now say. <laughs> uh, so, I think the week has been interesting. Um, I would say it's been a week I've been most challenged. <clears throat> so I, don't, <clears throat> I don't know how, but yeah, this, this task, I'm kind of behind, but I know I'm going to finish because I'm going to put in the work and I'll get it done. So, and I was thinking differently yesterday. So I was discussing that with um, Arun. And I was like, oh, I think the weekly tutorials, I don't put enough, like I don't get time to practice them. So let's say they introduce a new, you know, um, concept. I don't get a time to go practice. Like what happened during the um, pre-training session whereby you know, there was a tutorial on pandas and you are given the pandas work to go and do. Then you do it and submit. There's a tutorial on Matplotlib. You are given the work to do. There's a tutorial on Seaborn. All of that, you know, was interesting for me because it means that I'm forced to engage with um, the content of the day. Um, so I was thinking that the training program should look the same way. So we have daily submis submission. So everything that's been taught in a day, we have something to do and submit. And then the writer reduce how much um, work we have to do for a challenge or the challenges may be like bi-weekly or you know, every three weeks you have a major challenge or something like that. So that we'll have enough time to engage with the content instead of you know, focus all the energy on doing the projects. Because some of us, if you don't have um, enough, let's say pre-knowledge to be able to finish the challenge early, it means that you won't be able to participate or you will not be able to have some other time to do the <clears throat> The, the tutorial, follow the tutorials very well. And I find that, or I feel like that way I wouldn't benefit a lot because you're not really following the tutorial, you're just finding answers to the challenge, which is not the best. So that's my opinion, and I suggested that to Aaron. And I hope that, you know, there's a balance between energy put into the, um, um, the weekly challenges and then some other energy also put into learning the new concepts that are being introduced. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Ayabela. So we've, we've taken that on board as a team. We uh, started to discuss that. It'll take us a little bit of time, but this sort of feedback is extremely useful for us. 
Um, and so thank you, thank you for sharing that. Um, we we need to we will take that on board and we will come back to you on ways that we can integrate some of some or all or none, but we will come back to you as we think about what we're able to do and finding the balance between what works for you, what works for others, and also what we're able to manage in terms of a high quality training program. All right, thank you for listening. All right, thank you. Anyone else want to speak? Any other volunteers? Otherwise we have a couple of minutes and I'll just keep calling on people. Now I can say something about, so I, I, I missed probably um, interesting discussions, so that's not acceptable, but so, okay, Rahel wants to speak, right? So I think I'll, I'll give to Rahel and then I'll, I'll come back. Like I think it's better if I say later. Okay, go Rahel. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. We can hear you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And uh, as I joined late, I had a similar challenge with uh, Samuel. As most of the most of the time this week, I spend it uh, getting to know the community and uh, getting to know what's going on here instead of uh, dealing with the challenge. But I submitted what I could. I did a little. I submitted what I could, and that was a success for me. And um, but I was hoping if we were actually given more guidance to it. I mean, for, for example, in the previous challenge, in the Tuesday submission, I wish before Tuesday we were given uh, the tutorial, all the tutorials we could use for the submission of Tuesday so that we know what to do so that we don't just uh, search around everything and get lost somewhere. I thought I wish at least for the first few weeks we we could I wish if we were given uh, more guidance to what we do before the submission, not after the submission, but we, before the submission, so that we will know what to do. We will know what to work on on, uh, on the specific uh, challenge or on the specific submission. So that's all. Thank you. Thanks, Rahel. No, yeah, no, thank, thank you for the feedback. Um, so I think we're hearing more guidance, um, stronger link between um, finding the information and um, what needs to be required, balanced with what we're trying to what we're trying to teach is, and Yevabel I'm sure has lots to say here, but we want people to go out and learn because we are trying to create. We'll keep going back to this point: work ready people. And if you when in 12 weeks when you sit down at your job, your manager will not have time and will not say this is exactly how you find what you need to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, I, go on, go on, yeah. I understand that, but this is our first week, and uh, I think we should be given more guidance. I'm not talking about the next weeks. I'm not, of course, that will make us more ready for a job, but, but first we need uh, more guidance, I think, from the tutorials before the submission. Thank you. I think these are interesting feedbacks, and I think it's, it's really, um, we definitely need to balance and I think it seems to me also it's not that you want a, a full kind of like um, guidance and I think it seems to me even you you guys understood what we want to do and it's it's definitely this balancing between yes like you know how much um, how much is we want to expose so like that was what I mean I will just say it like what we are the tutorials were in our plan, we're like serving as two other extremes as well, which is like giving exposure because the, the challenges are the challenges. They cover a certain topic, but data science is broad and we wanted like the tutorials sometimes definitely to give guidance on the challenge, but sometimes also as kind of exposure to a sort of, you know, the outside, like the different things you don't cover, but you kind of get introduced to them. Um, and so it's kind of some of them were really a lot more designed more like okay in this kind of area so this week we have been focusing a lot more on methodology on like improving your um, like your coding style and knowing the packages and, and so even if the always and almost all the weeks we go end to end in data analysis each week has its own focus so this week a lot more was like you know uh, in having more uh, 
understanding of the different packages and how you use them and for what purpose. And next week, we are going to focus a lot more on statistics. So it's going to be a, a change. And the challenge is also a lot more focused on you asking yourself, like, you know, what does it mean, this distribution? What does it mean, T distribution? What does it mean, Gaussian distribution? What does it mean, you know, wave bull distribution and stuff like that instead? And then it will be less coding, but more kind of statistical understanding interpretation. We definitely will, will try to improve and integrate. As Arun said, we're def thinking a lot on how to balance that thing. But at the same time, we don't want to lose the kind of exposing you to other ideas that you should just be aware. Not really, you know, right now, no, kind of get good at it, but it's kind of know like how things are related. So it's kind of a radar, basically. And, but yeah, these feedbacks are very important. And the most important part is that you complete the challenges. The challenges for us kind of represent your portfolio. And the outside world, irrespective of the knowledge you have, will, will come and see, you know, how many things did you do? You know, like, did you write a blog? Were you active this way? Like, so the questions in when it comes to usually the outside world is the portfolio contribution. And the challenges, is, the challenges are designed usually to give you that kind of status. It's kind of when you show it, it, it becomes like, okay, you know, this person really is like, they have done all sorts of things and not only all sorts of things, they have actually done for production level, which is like they wrote a report on it. They kind of explained it. They analyzed it. So it's kind of, that was the aim of the project. And put with 12 projects, with 12 portfolio contributions in that significant level, we feel you will be like kind of on top of most other people, which is like, it's not, if, you, if, if I see one, you know, someone with just one project, I don't know if that person just was in a, in a workshop and then did it. If I see a couple of them, then I would feel like, okay, this person, you know, it's like, is really strong. But if I see tw more than 10, I would say like, this is, you know, kind of strong. So that's what we wanted really to get like all the week that you do something that contributes in your portfolio such that ultimately you don't get, you don't have any trouble to get jobs. So yeah, with that, it's with that thinking, but these feedbacks are very important. Please just share with us and we definitely will try to uh, reflect on that and see how we can reconcile. Yeah, super. Any, any other feedback guys? We have a uh, seven minutes left. Should I call uh, volunteers? Brian Odiambo. Brio Dev, Brian. Yes, hello. Hi, Brian. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just joining right now. I had internet issues. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, what I can say right now is um, uh, I've been I've been working on this week's challenge and uh, been having a couple of blockers and. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I have been collaborating with my fellow learners and uh, our tutors as well. And uh, right now, yeah, I'm working on completing the challenge. And uh, yeah, and it has been really a, a steep learning process. Uh, so I've been like, the, the, the problem I had, uh, I've been learning on like the whole of this week is the cables, uh, applied the cables um, classification on on, uh, on the data that we had. Yeah, but yeah, I'm happy. I've learned a lot actually from you. Yeah. Super. Okay. And maybe last uh, contribution on reflections for the week, we can turn to um, the man who's in permanent beta, Augustine. Um, hello. Hi. I've, um, so I've been faced with a lot of challenges this week. And so I'm kind of playing catch up right now. But I hope to get on track with everything today and be able to get everything done before tomorrow. Okay. All right. Does anyone else want to make a contribution? And but 
I, can I ask also just Arun, like was there kind of, so I can see now there, there is some feedback, but is there also what works and what didn't work? Like, so what did work? Did people reflect on what's working for them? So I think some people did. Lowell made the point that the, the well-designed challenge was very clear. It was easy to follow step by step. Um, I think one other person, I don't remember, I think it was um, Wakali had said that the, um, the data description could have been a little bit more clear, but I think that was the general sense, and I could be wrong, but my feeling was the general sense that it was easier, it was easy to understand what was required in this week's challenge, and that was quite useful. Okay. Is that fair to say, team, group? You can just unmute and just, we can, as we're Yes. Yeah. Yes. If you want to make uh, a yes. contribution, just speak. Okay. Yeah, because it, I definitely want to know what works for people and what, of course, needs to be improved. So it's that each week we try to improve at least one thing, such that, you know, it, it, I mean, it, it's going to be important that kind of like, getting your portfolio together, which is from our side, then the, one of the main important issue from your side, understanding and being comfortable. Um, and so it's kind of, we have to improve to optimize these two lines. And uh, So Nahoma is saying that the uh, websites is, uh, the announcement website is working really well, so we can avoid joining the wrong Google meeting, which is bad for me because then I'm going to lose my bet with the other <laughs> And uh, Elvis is saying that the reporting guidelines and reporting was clear, particularly with slides. Okay, great. Wonderful. Aaron, can I come in? Please. Great. So I'm, I'm extremely happy about um, how all of us are getting on and more importantly, want to see our community grow and become more interactive. So far, I have been seeing similar faces interact and share their comments whenever we have MCBAs. I would just encourage us more to devote some time to that because the whole essence is for us to disconnect from work and come and have fun and then get to know something new we haven't probably talked about. So participation is very important. So I'll encourage all of you all, if you haven't been to our CBAs next week, to, to today we're having our last CBA for the week next week, please do make time. I want to see new faces to interact and all. That really helps. So just to remind you of that. And I wanted to just add to what Prosper is saying, building on what Dorothy said yesterday. So um, what she said yesterday is that as a African woman leading an organization, and I was chatting with uh, Dia Priya afterwards, so she replaced a very old um, Canadian man leading this global organization. And what she said is that carrying her community with her is her, her strength and her contribution. Um, and I think that that it relates very closely to what Prosper and the whole team are trying to do with the CBAs. So the weekly challenge is important, but if at the end of the 12 weeks, if you have not made gotten to know some of your other learners, if you have not um, spent a little bit of time thinking about non-data science things, you will, if you have not attended the um, additional lectures, you will have taken, you'll probably be a great data scientist or you could be a great data scientist, but I can guarantee you that if not at the end of 12 weeks, if at the end of one year, you have gotten to know other people, you've thought a little bit more deeply about what it is that we're doing here, you will be better placed in one year if you don't only put your head down and read KD Nuggets, but rather um, think a little bit more deeply, get to know other people, ask questions, don't only focus on, and this is why it's part of the grading, it's part of the effort that we're putting in, don't only focus on the data science, take part in the CBA, that's also important. And the last point I want to make is just to add this quote that I saw this morning, and if you look at the Ideas channel, I've posted a bunch of stuff, but this quote that I saw that the word genius in the old sense of the word was not just about a person or a place, it was not just a, um, a person, but it was beyond nature, it was beyond architecture. It was about the people who tended to be in the area. And it's the people who roamed in an area that made it into a special place. And that's that to me cut to the, the core of what we're doing. And maybe it sounds very airy-fairy, but I, I actually believe in it. And I think it's important. Please do contribute to the community. So just another request, which we can continue on Slack would be, if we, will, if we should change one thing for next week, what would be, you know, what would be, what would you think um, that one thing should be um, that will improve the entire process 
both from the side of your understanding, from the smoothness, and um, from basically maximizing the benefit both in your portfolio as well as your, you know, your understanding. So, just post what you think. If you know, if we change one thing in the process we are doing that you think uh, would improve, it could be just you know make the website something like as simple as anything, but as also as fundamental as what what we have been um, hearing from <coughs> Rahel and uh, Abel. I'm going to put a start a, a message in all week too. So please thread your answers. I'll I'll type it up right now. Okay. Um, any other last last chance to make a contribution? Anyone want to speak? Okay. I want to just say a few things. Good morning, everyone. Um, morning. I wanted morning. to. I don't know if it's possible. We can do uh, some out sessions. How to just do some things that um, Yaba Bell has talked about, like the spreadsheet um, that he talked about. I've not seen exactly how to do it. And also the the creating an environment. I've not seen how to do it. So I don't know if it's possible. Can just do it out. Maybe anybody, I don't know if it's possible. Thank you. Good. I will hopefully hold one session on that, on how to create Python environment. And probably we will ask an additional guest speaker on Docker as well, just along the way. Um, yeah, good. That does, those are requests that we can easily address. Can we get a tutorial on um, clustering as well? Yeah, there will be clustering. Yeah, okay. So I think let's. Is it, there should be like this suggestion? Uh, uh, so I don't know. Okay, let's 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 think of Arun about how people can just suggest these so things. I, I've put the message on Slack. Please help us and just take take ten seconds and write it on Slack. It'll help us to track it there. Yeah. So I've already put the message in all okay. week too. Just thread your answers, please. Exactly. I think for me, I would be very happy just if I know someone is struggling. I could just, I mean, people are struggling. I could just give like a few minutes tutorial on that, like, you know, on the core concept on whatever. And others like uh, um, Jean and Sebastian and Mustafa can also just do the same. So we don't have to have like a regular time, but just we could do that easily. So as long as you just communicate, okay, we need that and, you know, like whatever, then we will try to accommodate. I mean, definitely, you know, we're all busy designing and stuff, but they, these things can be easily just, um, can be done informally. So please just suggest, right? Okay, so uh, to answer the previous question, uh, what worked was, uh, I think the fact that the challenge description had uh, was classified into tasks and subtasks, so they they guide us into doing what we are gonna do in order to solve the to submit. And what works, the other thing what worked was Slack, the questions on Slack. Uh, before even we have those questions or before we reaching to that task, uh, what I did was I was looking at the Slack questions and answers. So before even I reached there, I, it helped me to answer some of the questions I could have for the next uh, task. So yeah. I think that's what worked. Thank you. I think that's that's very, we will definitely adopt this task definition in all of the challenges after this. So that's great to hear. Um, it helped you and it, it's helping us definitely. All right, okay. Uh, so. If I, if I guess we're done, we're four minutes over time, but thanks everyone. It's been a great week, everybody. week uh, two and a half uh, wrapping up and our team is now, or the group is there. So let's uh, finish off strong. Thanks everyone, we'll see you on Slack. Ciao everyone.